I arrive at the dormitory in an attempt to find Belorta, but I don't feel anyone's presence here. Apparently there's no one here, so I might as well search somewhere else. Also, I'm doing this. I finished the uh, main event finally. Now I know what they meant when she disappeared twice now. Is this big enough, you know? Yes. That should be enough to store a fair amount of food. Oh my. Look who it is. Are you two looking for Belorta too? Huh? Uh, what are you digging for? Why? Um, because... T to be honest... We thought maybe Belorta was hiding underground. <laughs> So that's why you're digging. Yes. I see. Uh, that didn't even cross my mind. Can I help? If we dig together, it'll go faster. <laughs> the absolute squad starts digging near the walking trail. Are, are, are they like hiding food that they can have later on if Emma starts to cook? <laughs> Beloita, are you here? I don't think she's here. Man, she's really good at hide and seek. There are so many places to hide here in Snowfield, so it'll be tough to find her. Now where could she be? I have a casual conversation with Mika. As you can tell, I now call her Mika instead of Micah, which shows I actually did to the event. <laughs> Man, was it hard not to try to, you know, talk about the fact that we don't do crap in this mini game. We got a, we got a question. We, we get to, you know, say that we want to go into the hot springs with Ludmilla, and then we're all of a sudden just lying and just saying it's a joke. Like bitch, I ain't fucking. Like bitch, I ain't joking. I arrive at the restaurant in an attempt to find Belorta. But I don't feel anyone's presence here. Apparently there's no one here, so I might as well search somewhere else. Alright, Ludmilla. I find Ludmilla at the Bamboo Forest. If I wanted to, I think I could have a quick chat with her. What should I do? Talk to Ludmilla. Did you find below at a servant? The moment she sees me, Ludmilla is visibly distraught and asks me this question. Not yet. I see. The sun is setting. I'm worried. I should have been more on top of things. She left a note, so I'm sure she's fine. Before the sun sets, let's look around a bit more. D dude. Man, this game just really loves crashing. Before the sun sets, let's look around a bit more. Yes, yeah, she'll be in much more danger once the sun goes down. We need to find her before then. I look around the bamboo forest with Ludmilla. Man, it's such a shame that the game, you know, crashed. It's, it's, it sucks. It's been doing that a lot lately. That in having a download that it doesn't actually download. Every single time I log into the game, it's very annoying. A special event has occurred. Let's go. I've been searching everywhere for Belorta, but I haven't been able to find her anywhere. Ludmilla called everyone except Mika into the bamboo forest. Have any of you seen Belorta around? Nope, she's nowhere to be found. And why Investia are even doing some excavation? <laughs> In hopes they might find her underground somewhere. Is that why you came alone? Yeah, they said they were too busy to come. Uh huh. Signal and Delta think she might have been abducted. So they're prepping a bunker buster. I mean, where's Lumi in all this? Because Lumi also never showed up in the actual, like, event story. She's a mini-game character only. 
Who could she possibly have been abducted by? Beats me. I can't stop Signal from going off on her flight to fancy, so I came alone. This is getting a little concerning. No why, and I searched high and low and didn't turn up as, as much as a single hair of the Lord does. Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. I'm just glad Mika still thinks this is one big game of hide and seek. What was written in the letter Belorta left behind? If you don't come out and play with me right this instant, I'll vanish along with the wind. Did she actually get carried away by a gust of wind? That could potentially happen to you servants, but I don't think we have to worry about that happening to Belorta. Yeah. Her body is that of a Nike, not a human, so... If we keep dragging our feet, Mika will start to suspect something is wrong. Let's pick up the pace and find her. Imagine to that. And maybe she dozed off somewhere. And where do you think we should search next or why? And how about the heart spring? We can't afford to dilly-dally. Rather than go it alone, I feel teaming up with someone will make the search easier. Who should I pair up with? Look, I know I'm gonna get points for this if I go with Ludmilla. Which arguably should possibly push me to her next romance scene and without having to use a clock. Actually, you know what? That Because I've missed out on clocks, I have to do that. If I want to be able to finish this mini game, I have to do it. As much as I would love to travel with Blonde and Noir again, and choose them again, I have no choice. I need to do Ludmilla for the freaking extra points. Alright, Ludy, let's go. There we go. Now she can go up to next heart. I'll go ahead and team up with Ludmilla. I think we'll be able to find Belorta faster if we look together. Ludmilla, let's go search for Belorta together. Okay, sure. Where should we search? Right here, I plan to comb over the bamboo forest more. If it gets late, there could be wild animals. So it'd be prudent to take a second glance. We should proceed deeper into the forest. Okay, let's do it. Ludmilla and I venture deeper into the bamboo forest to find Belorta. But she was nowhere to be seen. What if we end up encountering a wild animal? Then we'd be in, be in deep trouble. Anyway, let's keep going. Hmm. Did she fall asleep in the forest? Somewhere we can't see, we hear the faint sound of snoring. Do, do you hear that? Yeah, very clear. I went with Ludmilla to find the source of the sound. There's Belorta. She was just sleeping in the forest. What made her to decide to hide here? If we hadn't ventured this into far into the forest, we might have never found her. Belorta's asleep on the ground, covered in bamboo leaves. It looks as if she planned on surprising some passerby. Let's hurry and wake her up. Belorta, wake up. Ludmilla shakes Belorta to wake her. To wake her. Hmm. Huh? Old timer, Ludmilla. What? When did I fall asleep? I was just getting ready to pull a prank. Everyone's been looking for you. It hasn't been long since that last incident, and then you went off and disappeared for hours, leaving only a letter. Well, you guys have been ignoring me because you've all been too preoccupied with those stupid hot spring legends. I wanted to get back at you all by pranking you, but I accidentally dozed off. Belorta, if you ever feel bored, you should talk to us. What you shouldn't do is get these crazy schemes in your head and make us all worried for you. Do you have any idea? How worried Mika and the others were when you last went missing. This supposed prank of yours is taking it a bit far, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. 
I promise it won't happen again. Can you forgive me? First, let's inform everyone that we found Belorta. Okay. Belorta, I do understand your feelings. But next time, I would advise simply being honest and asking us to spend time with you. Okay, I'll do that. It may not have been intentional on my part, but I screwed up. I'm sorry for making you all worry. At least you realize that and are acknowledging that fact. Just don't let it happen again, please. I won't. Until you're not around, that is. Let's spend the rest of our day with Belorta. And so the hunt for Belorta ends on a happy note. As we all have a great time together until the wee hours of the night. It is getting quite late. I think it's about time to return to m my room. I was concerned that it would end up being a repeat of what happened last time. But fortunately, it only turned out to be another one of Belorta's mischievous pranks. I do feel bad when I imagine how isolated Belorta must have felt. Starting tomorrow, I'll spend more time with her. As I drift off to sleep, I think about all the activities I could do together with Belorta. You say that, but she isn't one of the girls I actually had the choice of spending time with. Mika is, but Lorta isn't. Mika, Emma, Lumila, Noir and Blonde. Ain't no one got time for Belorta. Sadly. So I need one more. It doesn't matter if I fail the next conversation with Emma. She will get up to the max. And Mika needs a success in or, in or a fail or two successes. Ludmilla's going to four. Blonde and Noir again. I don't know what the bunnies mean. I guess it means that both halves need to be filled up before we can go and uh, get their bond up. I'm assuming that's what that means. That one time we shared the same time with, with them. Then the next it's solo. Then the next it's together again. I think that's what it means. Either way, let's go. Mm. A particularly strong gust of wind wakes me up. Curious as to whether it might be a snowstorm, I crack open the window. Only to see the trees outside standing perfectly still. Nani? Just then, I feel a chill course over my face and skull. Suddenly, it feels as if the wind is coming from inside the hallway. We are supposed to explore the dormitory tonight in order to unravel the secrets behind the legend. Uh, a Yuki Ona? Is, is that what we're, we're going to be finding? What, what, what was Mizore from uh, Rosario Vampire? That, that type. Was it actually a Yuki Ona? Yuki Ona is a spirit of or yokai in Japanese folklore that is often depicted in Japanese literature, films, or animation. Snow Woman, Yuki Ona. I was right. We're gonna deal with a snow woman. <laughs> Including that very hallway. I cast aside the unnerving thoughts in my mind and get myself ready to start the day. Tonight there will be an event to find out the legend of the dormitory. Alright, we can get our relationship up with Ludmila. No one else, though. Huh, and this is strange. I can't get any stones to skip today to save my life. It's like they're being sucked inside the water. Huh, it's kind of scary when I put it like that. I'm not gonna skip any more stones today. I have a casual conversation with Mika. Alright. There doesn't appear to be anyone at the hot spring. Okay, and head inside to soak myself. I can hear strange noises coming from inside the bushes on the other side. It's most likely just a small animal or something, but... It all feels a bit unnerving, so I quickly get out of the hot spring. I should check out some other locations as well. Are we actually going to be dealing with a ghost this time? The screen's gonna go red, we deal with it, and then we never deal with anything like it again. 
It's not like I'm totally still ticked off over the fact that they gave us a really decent way to start a Halloween event at the end of the summer event, part two, and they never did anything else with it. They could arguably have us go back later on, but it's already too late. Like that was gonna be so fun, man. I'll be with the fact that we would have been on the same island three times in a row, I guess it wouldn't have been as such. So again, it would, it would have just been a side event. We wouldn't have actually dealt with the island itself. Just the uh, spirit or whatever the hell that was. There doesn't appear to be anyone in the restaurant. I sit down to eat. The wind outside begins to blow violently, shaking the windows of the restaurant. It's rather unnerving, so I finish my meal as quickly as I- Oh, are we possessed right now? Is the ghost following us? It's literally showing up everywhere we go. The morning sunlight dances upon my eyelids. A mysterious scent hits my nostrils. Hmm. For whatever reason, I feel as if someone is staring at me. Is, is she watching us sleep? Maybe I should get up. Hmm. The moment I open my eyes, I see Ludmila saving a cup of tea. Ludmila, isn't it improper for a servant to wake up later than his mistress? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, I am merely pulling your leg. Now that you're up, however, how about joining me for some tea? I just brewed a fresh cup. I stand up and take the tea cup. That loon Miller hands me before taking a sip. An indescribable warmth envelops my entire body. The tea is pleasantly bitter, but not overly so. Layered, but not overly complex. How do you feel? Feeling awake? Yeah, thanks to you. <laughs> Glad that you like it. As I put my, down my tea, the pile of books next to loon Miller catches my eye. Are these the ones you find found while tidying up the dormitory? Yeah. I was re reading one while the tea was brewing. What's it about? Are all of these diaries? There are a few diaries, yes, but most are children's books. I take a look at the book Loon Miller is reading. Instead of full-body text, the pages instead contain what seems to be a list of names. What are you reading now? The guest list of Snowfield Hot Spring. Why would I read this of all things? I realize you may find it strange, but I enjoy the fact that so many people have left their mark on this place. It shows that lots of people have fancied this place over the, over the years and demonstrates how it has been a bastion of physical and mental comfort for some time. Looking at all the past names written on this guest list brings a smile to my face. And, actually, you should have a look for yourself. Here, this page. Ludmilla turns to a page filled with exceptionally neat and writing. It's been a while since it snowed. Maybe that's why there are so few customers. I don't mind it too much, to be honest. But this place does feel a little desolate today. It's not a holiday, but I think I'll go take a bath w with my sister tonight. And the next page. I heard there's gonna be a blood moon tonight. No wonder there are more customers than usual. If I had time, I'd make a wish on the walking trail. For my beloved sister. May she be happy forever. Is the one that, is is the one that Lumi wants us to save during Emma's time, her sister? Next page, we had a clear night sky tonight, which the guests were very pleased with. Seems they got a real kick out of soaking in the hot spring with the blood moon out. As I tidied up, I told my sister what happened yesterday. I had made a wish, and the hot spring turned. After she heard the story, my sister was upset that I hadn't taken her with me. We promised to make a wish together on the walking trail next time. 
The pages detail the daily thoughts and happenings of the author. It really gives you a sense of the daily routine of this place, doesn't it? The fact I'm able to breathe new life into a place that holds so many precious memories is something I take great pride in. Ludmilla continues to peruse through the guest list for some time, recounting the stories within the pages to me. Before either of us realize it, my cup of tea is empty. I finished my tea. Already. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was this content. Sorry, I've been talking too much. I need to go get back to my duties so you can rest for a little longer. Or if you're so inclined, you could read some of these books yourself. So long. After Ludmilla leaves, I go to pick up the guest book. As I'm pulling it towards me, a photo falls out from between the pages. Hmm? It is a family photo of a husband and a wife and their three daughters. But there's something off putting about it. Their faces. Each of the family members has an X drawn on their face except the oldest and youngest daughter. There are words written on the back of the photo as well. A neat and tidy handwriting. The Happy Lumi family. Yep, there it is. She's pleased that the tea leaves she selected carefully have been delivered. Alright. Emma just needs one. I find Emma at the dormitory. If I wanted to, I think I could have a quick chat with her. Let's talk to Emma. Tonight is when we'll look into the legends surrounding the dormitory. But why are we doing this at night? Gives me goosebumps. There's no need to be afraid. I'll protect you. Oh, I'm touched. I'll just stick close to you then. That way I'll feel super safe. Wow, suddenly I don't feel scared at all. Uh huh. Thanks, Commander. What if we really do encounter a ghost or some other apparition? Oh, don't worry. I've been ch I've been followed by a ghost this entire day. So far. Do you think we'll be able to restrain it by force? Emma and I speculate on what terrifying things we might face tonight. Well, there's my 30 gems that we get every time. There doesn't appear to be anyone at the waterfall. The sound of the water crashing down somehow sounds like a blood-curdling scream, which sends a chill down my spine. Wanting to get away from this feeling as soon as possible, I leave the waterfall. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I'm very curious what happened to Lumi and her family. There doesn't appear to be anyone at the walking trail. I walk briskly along the path. There's footsteps behind me. Oh, God. It's getting closer. Huh? Was the walking trail always- Oh my god, wait, it's an infinite walking trail. It's like the infinite hallway thing, you gotta turn around and walk backwards. I feel a strangely familiar creeping dread come over me and I return back the way I came. I should check out some other locations as well. Well, there aren't many people at the hot spring today. We should be able to get a good soak in without feeling crowded. That's good. Firstly, let's take off this communications radio you've got strapped to your back. Sure thing. It just turned on by itself. Ghost radio waves, anyone? Huh? I'm getting a signal. Could it be enemy forces? Quick, let's get into battle formation. No, I don't think that's it. Please let it say help me. Actually, don't. I think. We're just getting garbled sounds because we can't establish this clear signal. So it's an error, basically. No, it's it's the it's the spirits of the dead trying to communicate. 
Yes. But this has never happened before. It's kinda creepy. Signal and Delta continue their conversation at the hot spring. I'm I'm so disappointed they didn't continue that further. That would have been so much more interesting. How bizarre. I'm sure these ingredients were perfectly fresh yesterday. Oh my god, the food's rotting now. But now some of them appear to be going bad. Hmm. I also closed the windows when I left, but now they're open. Something about today feels... Inauspicious. I have a casual conversation with Emma. Oh yeah, we're definitely dealing with a haunting now. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. The war is maxed, so me Mika. I find Mika in a dormitory. If I wanted to, I think I could have a quick chat with her. Old timer. Why are you trembling? Oh well. I'm a bit scared about how we're gonna be investigating the dormitory tonight. So I wanted to try and take a look around, but it's super freaky to go on my own. Why would I want to get her off of me? That's the bad option, comfort Mika. Thanks, old timer. I think I feel better now. <laughs> oh, I guess I shouldn't try to push myself too hard. Maybe I won't be scared if I go with all the others later. Plus, you'll be there. I can't help you girls against ghosts, you know that, right? Mika and I imagine how it's going to go when we explore the dormitory later this evening. Wait, there's a clock? A special event has occurred. Oh, crud, we're actually doing it now. Okay, um... I have 14 clocks right now. Dailies will reset in 12 minutes. I need to go and record something else. But I'm very curious. Okay, I'm, I'm going to end things after the ghost hunting. Let's go. This has piqued my interest too much to stop right now. The sun has set. Darkness falls over Snowfield Hot Spring. Today, we have gathered to uncover the secret behind the legend which states, Blank roams in a dormitory. A Yuki Ona roams in a dormitory. A ghost roams in a dormitory. But why is it only three letters? This is kind of scary. Super scary. Totally freaky. If you're so easily scared, why did you all agree to meet at night? Because it felt right. It's pretty obvious this legend has serious horror overtones, don't you think? Okay, fair enough. But we've all been living in the dorms these past few days. Has anyone seen anything out of the ordinary during our time here? Hmm. I don't think I have. No, why and I haven't seen anything. Same here. I... I have. I got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And I saw a strange silhouette. No way. Huh? You too. Do you know anything about this, Ludmilla? No, that's not it. It's just that I also saw something strange a few nights ago. I had just looked around the snowfield and gotten back to the dorm when I heard a strange sound coming from an empty room. A squeaking sound. When I opened the door, I wish I was doing this at night. It's 2.50 p.m., man. I wish I was doing this at night. My room is dark, but... Ugh. Should I wait till nighttime? Eh, no, I'm already here. When I opened the door... What I found inside was... Oh. What? What did you see? Inside? <laughs> Hello, Lumi. What the... Gah. Ah. Lumi, 
You scared the bejesus out of us. Where did you come from anyway? Are you also interested in this story? Yes. I see. So what was inside the room? There was no one. Oh. Well, that's good, I suppose. How's it good that no one's inside of a room that you're hearing vo sounds coming from? I disagree. I know for a fact that I heard something, yet there was no one there. If there had been someone inside, I at least would have known what the source of the noise was. But as soon as I opened the door, the sound stopped. That's when I knew. This place was related to the legend. Now that's freaky. You don't look like you're scared at all. Really? Well, I am. Anyway, I take it you're proposing that we all go looking around the dormitory to find out what's behind these strange happenings. Well, I guess I'm gonna be going with Ludmila again. So technically I could go with Mika and end her bond right now. Because I think Emma's now over. I could end it with Mika, then I could only do Ludmila. Blonde and Noir. Exactly. It could be dangerous though, so stick close to our servants. I will. Look, I already promised that I would protect me. Actually, technically, I promised I would protect Emma. But because she's already maxed out, Mika got 50. This gives 50. So even if I... Ah, uh, son of a... <sighs> Mika, let's go. You're coming with me. Old timer. You don't get scared easy, do you? Not at all. That's fantastic. You're just the person I need right now. I'll stay close to you then. Sounds good. All of us form a tight formation and start to explore the dormitory. Blood, it's pitch black in here. Just stay close to me, no why? I'll protect you no matter what happens. Okay. I'll do the same for you too. Up. Uh. Huh? Oh, what was that sound just now? I think those were the floorboards creaking. Oh, phew. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, if I chose Blonde and Noir, I'd have each of them on one of my arms. Man, that'd be great. They'd hug me when they were scared. <sighs> Damn, I should've chose them. But because I missed out on clocks, I have to choose Mika. Or Ludmila. If you're scared that easily, you might as well turn back now. Absolutely not. I'll be fine so long as the wine pit boys are here. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm there with you in spirit, technically. Because currently I'm protecting Mika, but yeah. Besides, I want to know what you and Mika saw. If you insist. Up. Oh. Yeah. What was that? Sorry. I accidentally banged into a shell. <laughs> oh. If you're scared, Mika, you can hold my hand. Will that be okay? Thanks. What was the point of me going with you then? Lumi, aren't you scared? Yes. <laughs> it's your sister that's ro it's your sister or your mother that's roaming this place, right? Just to make sure, you're saying you are scared. Yes. Communication with Lumi is as strenuous as ever. I wonder why she is so interested in all of this. Also, why did she show up so suddenly in the first place? As I wonder about this and many other things, Ludmilla, who's walking in front, halts in her tracks. This is it. This is the room where I heard the strange sounds. At the very end of the hall, there is a room. For whatever reason, it is situated far from all the other rooms. Is everyone ready? Yes. Yeah. Let's do this. Ludmilla slowly wraps her hand around the doorknob. 
then rapidly twists it and flings the door open. Isn't this my room? Wait. That's a picture of us. This is literally just a carbon copy of our room. A chilling air wafts into the hallway the moment the door is opened. But, it doesn't look like there's anything here. You're right. Maybe Ludmilla and I were just imagining things. I think whatever it is just can't be spotted so easily. There must be something we're missing. Maybe it doesn't show itself and there are a lot of people around. But... And does that mean one of us has to be left here alone? I don't like this one bit. At that moment, Lumi steps forward. Lumi. And Walter straight into the room. Shouldn't we stop her? Shh. It looks like Lumi has something that she wants to do. Let's stay back and watch for now. Okay. Lumi looks around the room, then approaches its center. She then raises her head and stares at the ceiling. Huh. She fixates her gaze intently on something as if she's found something she was searching for. Lumi, what are you looking at? Is there something on the ceiling? I don't see anything. Is there something inside the light fixture? I don't see anything either. Blun? I can't do it. I'm getting me to goosebumps. I'm freaking out. Well, let's go back. Are you okay? Fine. Sorry, everyone, but the wire isn't doing so well. We're gonna head back. I'll go with you. Ah, uh, uh, thank you, Pit Boss. Oh, what about Mika? Uh, uh, thank you. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Ludmila, I'll be back. Okay. I grab Noir's arm and head back to the way we came. Or try to, rather. The blood curdling screams echoing throughout the building keep us from going any further. Yeah. Lumi, are you okay? I frantically turn back toward the room and see Lumi collapsed on the ground, trembling. Ludmilla and Emma rush over to her. And in front of them, I see a faint apparition. It is a Yuki Ona. This looks like one. But what is this? No way. Close your eyes. Okay. Who are you? Are you a living being? Or am I just seeing things? Save. Me. What? Save me. Save me. Me save, save me, me, me save. Save me, save, save me, save me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, no, no, no. Ah. Uh. Wait, Lumi. Lumi frantically attempts to push Ludmila and Emma away. Such strength. I'm sorry, Lumi. She knock out cold? Ludmila smacks Lumi on the back of the head, causing her to faint. At the very same moment, the faint apparition in front of Lumi vanishes. I think she might be in shock, which is why she reacted so violently. That apparition we saw is gone. And what could it have been? Is everyone okay? I'm okay. It was kind of freaky seeing Lumi act like that. But since old timer was here, I was able to calm myself. And we're okay too. Yeah, a bit surprised, but okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm glad that everyone's okay. First off, let's head back. 
We need to put Lumi to bed. As all of us glance at Lumi's limp body, we all silently reach the same conclusion. Whatever Blink is in the legend is what we're dealing with. Some kind of female spirit is roaming around the building. One which appears to have a connection of some kind with Lumi. Yeah, it's her sister. For some safety reasons, we decide to completely seal the innermost room. No one is to approach it. That room. It's always so full of chatter, which pleases my ears. But when she is alone, she likes to be silent. That was the room my sister used. Yep. Barely any sunlight enters this room. We almost never get any visitors anyway. Any room here would be as quiet as the next. Why does she insist on using that room? I never understood. Many times I would ask her, and the answer was always the same. It's nice and cool in that room and quiet. You know how I sweat a lot. I see. As long as my sister is happy, then I'm happy too. Tomorrow, my sisters and I will have a great time. Sisters? Sisters? Didn't she only have one? Legend of the Dormant. I mean, I guess it, I guess it could have been three sisters. But, but they've only ever mentioned the older and younger sister, which is Lumi being the younger one. It is getting quite late. I think it's about time I retire to my room. Another hectic day has come to an end. I get in bed and close my eyes. Ironically enough, while doing that event, my room got a lot colder. It made it interesting, I guess. <laughs> but see, look, this is my room right here. Although I guess that could have been a family photo of Lumi and uh, her family. Is Yukiona here? <laughs> Who's there? I don't sense anyone near, near and hear no response. I pull the blanket over myself and close my eyes. Oh God. Could it be the wind? No, you dumbass. It's the Yukiona, Lumi's sister. Perhaps it's just the ordinary sounds being produced by the wind from outside. Once again, I cover myself with a blanket and close my eyes. I spend the entire night wide awake, unable to sleep a wink. Well, that was interesting. Uh, go out. All right. There's no point in doing it with Mika or Emma, because we've already got them maxed out, right? Both of them are at 75, so the last one I can do anything with is Ludmila. But the dailies have reset, and there's nothing else here, so I'm going to do, do these three, then I'll take a break. The Lord had told me something about there being a legendary fish inside this waterfall. If you put your face close like this, I get it, Delta. I got it. Ga, you startled me. Alorta, so you've been playing pranks here after spreading the rumor that there is a legendary fish. Yes, I couldn't resist because everyone else was having so much fun. But can you forgive me just this once? Signal Delta and Valor to continue their conversation at the waterfall. Boy, she's up to her tricks again. And why? The food we hit is gone. Someone must have dug it up and took it. Emma was the only one who knew about this hole. And then what are we supposed to do now? There's only one thing we can do. Confront her head on. Okay. 
and Y and Vesti continue their conversation on the walking trail. The restaurant is entirely devoid of people, perhaps because it's the early morning hours. I prepare a modest meal and eat my breakfast alone. I should check out some other locations as well. You know, after having witnessed that freaking Yuki Ona, the spirit, why the hell would you want to be alone? I guess it, it, she's in the dormitory in that room. But I like how they think that, you know, blocking the door, locking it, barring it is going to stop the Yuki Ona from, you know, escaping. Especially because I'm pretty damn sure that she was literally watching us sleep. She didn't do anything with us. But yeah, still creepy nonetheless. Either way, now I am going to take a break from this and go do my dailies and other stuff. Because I don't think I can finish this event right now, right? Technically speaking, again, the bunnies haven't wanted to do anything with me for a while. Ludmila and Emma... M Mika and Emma can be finished the next time we do stuff with them. I don't know. What's the percentage? I'll go back to my room. I'm 58% I'm of the way through. What? You're telling me I've only done 58%? I only have 12 clocks. You're telling me that there's more than meets the eye with this? 58! Damn. Okay. Well, either way, I will be back later.